Well, I figure it's about time that I get some of my other tractors up onto YouTube and get away from the Gravelys for a little while. So, anyways, this is part one of the Wheel Horse GT14 restoration. And you guys haven't seen this Wheel Horse yet. Uh, I got this back in early spring, it was, this year. And what we're going to do is my dad and I are restoring it, and we're going to put the loader from the... Wheel horse 1277 that he has, which is back here. So that loader right there, which is actually an ARC 500, which is supposed to be on a GT14. And we're going to put that onto this tractor so he'll have a bigger tractor to work with that's in a bit better of shape and stuff. So when we got this, it was all parted out. The guy who owned it before us, he took the engine out of it from one of his economy tractors. And I happen to have. <clears throat> another 14 horse Kohler engine and this one originally came out of a GT14 that we used to have a parts tractor many years ago so what we're doing is we're kinda of rebuilding the thing we got a new piston and some new rings on the way I lapped in the valves a couple days ago I'm gonna do new oil seals and everything getting completely repainted we got the oil pan for it over here and the bearing plate hanging on the wall so it's gonna have all new parts for the inside, nice new piston and everything. Uh, the fan shroud I have for it is from this engine, but the bottom was rotted out, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix it with a piece of sheet metal like I did on the commercial 10A gravely. That was all rotted out, so that way it'll keep the air inside of it. So this is a 1970 Wheel Horse GT14. It's got the hydro rear end. It also had a hydraulic lift which we took out of it because we're not going to need it since it's going to have the loader and the rear end that was on this when we got it actually was junk and it didn't work and we tried to take it up the path next to the garage and it would only make it up about three or four feet before it would stop and it wouldn't go any further so we bought a couple of parts tractors and we got this one off of another one this uh, hydraulic pump setup all on the side here and we switched it out and it was good pump it's really strong, has a lot of good pressure to it, which is nice. And at the same time, we also split this case, and we took this transmission completely apart, cleaned it all up. We have a brand new gasket in here between the two halves, so that's all good and everything. And we're also running 30-weight motor oil, NW30, in it instead of the automatic transmission fluid. So it has a good rear end on it. The tires are still in good shape, and they're actually kind of nice, nice big tires. So that's a good thing, and they're still holding air. Dashboard, you can see the plastic's a little bit ripped, and it's starting to crack in the corners, it's kind of shrinking, but it still has all the switches for it, and hopefully everything still works for the PTO and whatnot. Still has all the cables. Amp gauge is still in nice shape too. And it's also got the nose. I have the shield or the uh, head lens for it uh, the yeah the, len the lens for the front of it I still have that which is in okay shape a little bit cracked but you know not too bad and we also have the gas tank which is luckily in good shape because these can be hard to find sometimes yeah, I haven't tried it but I think it's gonna end up holding fluid because you know it's not really in too bad so it looks pretty sturdy and the tractor you know the front end it's in pretty decent shape. It doesn't wobble too much. We tightened up the front axle some because it had some walking into it. And the spindles were a little bit loose, but we tightened those up with some new roll pins. So it's definitely going to be a much better tractor once it's finished. And I think it's going to come out pretty nice. And yesterday we got a whole mess of sheet metal parts, most of them I think. We got them all primed and painted. And we're not spending a whole heck of a lot of time. We're just running the DA sander over everything real quick and throwing a coat of primer on it and this is the hood actually the hood had very nice decals on them so I taped them all off so it'll have good hood decals on it and for paint I got some Kryolan paint here we're painting it banner red which I usually like to use Rust-Oleum paint because it holds up much better and I think it's a lot thicker of a paint but the reason why we're using Krylon is because when I did my Charger 12 years ago, the banner red is about the closest color that I would find that you can get to 
the original wheel horse color so we're going to paint it that and it should come out pretty good so there you have it and that's part one of the GT14 restoration